All right, Tim, I've just seen this one. Quick scan of it. I know what it's all about. Uh, I guess here we go. God, our Discord users hate us. I'm probably going to let you lead with this one. Great. Because that way, if it goes poorly, I can be like, Harbour on Box doesn't condone any views or opinions of right, Tim. We, right. we, we've let Tim go. We can cut your section out of editing later. <laughs> right, I'll read it out. Is frame generation the biggest scam of the decade? Think, oh boy. I think we All have right. to establish first if it's even a scam. So this is a hot take, right? Like mm-hmm. this is this is the Reddit this is like a Reddit comment that you would see from a hater. Ooh. Or like a YouTube comment from a hater sort of thing. Um yeah, I think I agree. We have to establish whether it's a scam or not. Mm-hmm. And I would say it's not a scam. Mm-hmm. A scam is something that's, you know, pretty deceptive. Um, is very misleading and you're sort of not getting where it's advertised. I think that ad- advertising around frame generation hasn't been great, like the whole it improves performance That was deceptive, angle. for sure. That was deceptive. The whole your frame rate goes up, therefore your performance is better wasn't accurate in my opinion or at least wasn't fully accurate. Mm-hmm. But most other aspects of how it was described is how it works. So things like it is genuinely generating the frames from no input from the game engine. Is That is effectively how That's it right. works. It'd be a scam if it wasn't doing that and just artificially doubling the number. Yeah, exactly. That like if it was duplicating the frames instead of generating like an interpolated intermediary frame between two frames. Again, I just said that it doesn't use input from the game engine, which isn't fully true. It does use things like motion vectors to inform how to do the the generation part, but hopefully you know know what I meant there. So most of what uh, NVIDIA was saying about how it works is how it works. Things like it's built off of DLSS technology, it sort of is using the tensor cores and an AI network to assist with the process. All of that seems to be accurate. So from that perspective, I don't agree that it's a scam. But scam is often used as sort of like a code for bad or used to sell something that, you know, isn't really giving you the full value that would exp- you would expect. And I think it's hasn't been great to have it as a feature that you're effectively buying these GPUs for. Mm-hmm. Because 40 series, in many respects, there hasn't been too many upgrades over the 30 series. So frame generation has been elevated to an additional level than it otherwise would have been Mm -hmm. if the generation was really compelling in terms of like cost per frame and performance and things so yeah from that front that hasn't been great but you know i think scams are more things like you know nvidia downgrading like we in a previous question we've just been talking about like a gt 1030 ddr4 that is much more of a scam Mm -hmm. whether or not that is a scam is still i don't know with that quite get over my threshold but it's way closer yeah it is um so yeah i don't i don't think it's a scam but like i get where this question's coming from right mm. like people wanted a real performance uplift a cost per frame improvement with a new generation and what they got instead was largely highly frame generation <laughs> which yeah like i can understand why you'd be very disappointed with that and frustrated and annoyed and think mm-hmm. that it's yeah not great so yeah but i mean there are some circumstances where using frame generation does improve the experience. So I don't want to sit here saying it's all bad and useless technology and is constantly terrible because there are some scenarios where it does improve the overall package, but those those circumstances are certainly less than what we were led to believe to begin with, and it's a more narrow technology, and I think I was hoping, and I think mm-hmm. that you were hoping as well. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, very inflammatory comment there, but... Hopefully we've sailed the sea smoothly on that one. Hopefully I don't have to let Tim go after this Q&A series. That's all right. I've already bought a box of my belongings. 